The political landscape in Canada is twisting and churning. It was supposed to be, you know, the, the, the stronghold of the Liberal Party and they have lost. And your Prime Minister is corrupt. Justin Trudeau has accepted money from a real estate developer. The Jews in St. Paul's, it has a very large wealthy Jewish population and the Jews are saying that you haven't done enough to condemn Hamas, you haven't stood up in support of Israel and you haven't done enough to crack down on anti-Semitism in Canada. So 75% of Canadians, 75% of them actually want Justin Trudeau to go. Jain friends, I'm Major Gauravari and you're watching the Chanakya Dialogues English. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. The political landscape in Canada is twisting and churning. And Justin Trudeau has just got the shock of his life. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what has happened. The Conservative Party won a seat in the St. Paul district of Central Toronto that Trudeau's Liberal Party had held since 1990s. So since the 1990s, Trudeau's Liberal Party had held a seat called St. Paul's district in Central Toronto. It was supposed to be, you know, the, the, the stronghold of the Liberal Party and they have lost. Does Trudeau still get to be the Prime Minister? Of course. Of course. But this has dented Trudeau's profile in the Canadian elections and every Canadian political commentator is saying that Trudeau has lost the game. Now, in October 2025, more than a year from now, uh, the elections will take place which will finally decide who the Prime Minister of, of Canada will be. And Justin Trudeau is sliding in the popularity charts. Conservative candidate Don Stewart won the special election in the wealthy constituency of, Saint, of Toronto, St. Paul's, with 42.1% of the vote, to Liberals, Leslie Church's 40.5%, while the margin of victory was pretty slim. It wasn't something to write home about. But the fact of the matter is that they lost the bastion of the Liberal Party. That is gone. And this is what is really hurting Trudeau. And what people are saying is this, that uh, Trudeau's support has fluctuated over his eight years in power before his term was over. First term was over, he was enmeshed in personal scandals. So here is a personal scandal, which not many people in India know about. I would like to tell you that including ethics investigations and the release of photos of him, blackface makeup decades ago. So that is, that is one part of his, his Trudeau's racism, which he tried to make up by doing illegal stuff. In February 2019, Trudeau faced arguably the biggest political crisis of his premiership as allegations surfaced that members of his staff had improperly pressed Jody Wilson Raybould, who was Attorney General and Justice Minister, to take action to hold the prosecution of SNC Lavalin, a huge Quebec based construction and engineering company. So, now this says that Justin Trudeau was on the take from real estate developers. And he actually pressurized the Justice Minister to go easy, go slow on this huge real estate giant. You know, they said, go slow on this guy. Don't, don't pressurize him. Maybe he's giving money for Trudeau's elections. Who knows? So Trudeau tried to protect a businessman from, from uh, you know, uh, legal repercussions. And the firm had been charged with corruption and fraud. That is number one. That is where it ties in with Justin Trudeau. And fraud stemming from allegations that it had used bribery to win contracts from the Libyan government during the regime of Muammar al-Qaddafi. So a lot of Indians are under the impression that, oh, in Canada, the system is so honest. Oh, in Canada, the system is so clear. There is no bribery. Of course, there is. Here it is. And your prime minister is corrupt. Justin Trudeau has accepted money from a real estate developer, which is why he has done this. Okay, now the major issues which afflict Justin Trudeau's government is a surge in inflation, including a big jump in rents and interest rates. They're saying that the Canadians are feeling poorer. Also, the Prime Minister had had to fend off attacks over budget deficits amid evidence of inefficient government spending. Government high taxes on capital gains, earning criticism from the country's entrepreneurial class. The election in Toronto, St. Paul's, which had a large Jewish population now, the Jews in St. Paul's, it has a very large wealthy Jewish population and the Jews are saying that 
you haven't done enough to condemn Hamas. You haven't stood up in support of Israel and you haven't done enough to crack down on anti-Semitism in Canada. And the Jews have pulled back. The cost of living and housing as well as access to health care ranks as top concerns according to a recent study from the Angus Reid Institute. Home prices have jumped... Say, oh my God. This is shocking. Home prices have jumped 60%. 60% during Trudeau's time in office, which is great for homeowners, but frustrating for younger voters who now face not only high costs, but also elevated interest rates. So the young in Canada cannot buy a house. Young people in Canada cannot buy a house simply because Trudeau has made it impossible. 60% jump in 8 years or so, or 9 years in par. Trudeau has ensured that uh, the young no longer have access to affordable housing, which is going to be a big uh, problem that he'll have to deal with in the elections. The national polling shows Trudeau's Liberal Party struggling to attract and retain support with conservative support growing. A poll conducted by Ipsos for Global News, November 2023, suggested Trudeau's waning popularity. And... A majority of voters, 68% by the way, ladies and gentlemen, 68% voters want him to step down with Ipsos CEO Daryl Brickus describing the numbers as close to rock bottom. Uh, Ipsos is the agency that often comments on these kinds of things and they are saying that Justin Trudeau's numbers are rock bottom. It couldn't have been worse than this. That is what those people are saying. That poll put the Conservatives at 42% of the decided vote with the Liberals at 24%. So the Conservatives are at 42% and the Liberals at 24%. And 44% of the Canadians feel that Conservative Party leader, uh, you know, Polivre would make the best Prime Minister, while 75% of the Canadians want another party to take the government from the Liberals. So 75% of Canadians... 75% of them actually want Justin Trudeau to go. I'll be the happiest person if Justin Trudeau goes because this man has caused a lot of damage. He's got sundry Khalistanis to come over. And they are in customs, they are in the police, they are in law enforcement. And Justin Trudeau has no idea, you know, how this entire thing functions. He's got radical Islamists in Canada. And I have nothing to do with that. It's his country. He can burn it for all I care. I don't care about Canada. I don't care about Canada. I mean, whatever Justin Trudeau wants to do. If he wants to shift the entire population of the third world or any other country for that matter to Canada, you're welcome to do it. Take all the criminals from India and settle them in Canada. I have absolutely no problem. My only problem is this, that Justin Trudeau is allowing these criminals to use Canadian soil to carry out operations of various kinds. It could be propaganda, it could be actual crimes against the people of India. And this is what Justin Trudeau will be held to account for in the upcoming elections in 2025. I think September or October, Canada goes to the polls and then we will see who comes to power. You see, you have the likes of Jagmeet Singh, a politician, Indian origin politician, Jagmeet Singh, died in the wool Khalistani, who has supported Justin Trudeau, which is why Justin Trudeau remains in power, right? We will see what happens to Jagmeet Singh. We will ha see what happens to the Khalistanis who threaten India. We will see. Wait for the elections. Wait for October 2025. Then we will see. You see, when you put the photographs of our diplomats, ladies and gentlemen, on posters, you publicly name our diplomats and call for violence against them. When people like Gurpatan Singh Pannu fly down from the United States of America, land in Canada and say, all the Hindus should be thrown out of Canada or we will take action against them. And when you allow all this, when Prime Minister Indira Gandhi's uh, dead body, you know, a, a tableau is shown of her assassination and this is celebrated as free speech. You know, it does not give the Indians much confidence in Canada and Justin Trudeau is the reason. He is the sole reason why the relationship between India and Canada, once very close, but India and Canada today have the worst of relationships and that is all on Justin Trudeau, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Polivre, who is the opposition leader now, he says that 
uh, as soon as he becomes the prime minister, the first order of business would be getting Indian and Canadian friendship back on track and diplomatic relations back on track. Thank you very much for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you've liked this video, press the like button, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon. Jai Hind, Vande Matram, Bharat Mata Ki Jai.